Wendy's every couple of years decides to drop like a total head scratcher. Uh, it's, they're an interesting item. It's, you know, you had like your pretzel pub burger, stuff like that, spicy nuggets, loaded fries. Well, now they decided, hey, let's have those loaded fries on a burger. Get over here. Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Fast Talk, the Faster New Show, where I talk about fast food, talking faster about it. And this is their newest item, the loaded nacho burger now this is available in chicken this is also available in beef i got the beef version because that works best with your fries i don't know why they made chicken option i don't know why it's a thing it's frustrating so how is it let's go and find out now you're gonna notice this image looks a little disappointing well because it is maybe because you're supposed to add your own fries which i didn't know you're supposed to do that so because i ate my fries um but they do have some fries i think it's intended like these like crunchy crispy like flakes if that's the case, if not, I might be reshooting this whole review and I really don't want to do that. But there kind of it is. It's it's interesting. But how is this? Let's go and find out. There are some interesting flavors in here. It's not just your normal like nacho cheese. Like there's like a like a, like, a, like jalapeno kick it. Like uh, if there's like jalapenos in the cheese, like in the queso, that'd be interesting. Um, I like the flavor a lot. The tomato and lettuce is nice because always when they do these burgers, there seems to always be a lack of uh, anything else. It's always burger and whatever, like the I, like mushroom, if it was like a mushroom Swiss or like a bacon burger, it's all bacon and bits, but nothing like other toppings tied together and gives it other flavor. It's not bad. Um, there are like crispy flakes that it did show, which is weird. And I guess maybe you're encouraged to add your own fries to it if you want a little more, which I ate all my fries on the way over just went for my food um it's it's an option i guess i, I didn't so like i'm sure i'm gonna get in the comments like oh why didn't you add the nacho fries to it but whatever uh overall i like this uh it's interesting it's way better and it's something actually that i would have more than um the pretzel pot burger i reviewed that when that first came, when it came out and i was like oh it's, it's fine i had it again i was like again oh it's Fine. It's something about it doesn't gel with like it doesn't like it doesn't work. But this one does. Though Wendy's gets flack for having like some quality issues. Like there's some more they're very high end and very nice. And there's some I like the ones where I live, which are kind of garbage, honestly. Um this this burger overall, I gotta give like eight and a half out of ten, maybe because I made it wrong. I, I don't know the person myself. There's I guess there's different ways you could have made it, um, but also there's a lot of good things and something it seems like people all liked a lot. So definitely would get. Uh, so hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, subscribe to the channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, thread at FD underscore Fast Talk Reviews. Guys, have an amazing rest of your day. Stay safe, people. Peace.